What's up, y'all? Bob Bowie 13 coming at you with a knife review today. I received this in the mail yesterday from Fox Knives, Maniago, Italy. Um, got here in three days. Pretty freaking quick. <laughs> Can't get this knife in the U.S. yet unless you order it offshore like I did. Um, you can get the wood handled version, I believe, from A.G. Russell at about $115 U.S. And uh, that's that. So yeah, it came in this box. Who gives a shit, right? And this nice little soft pouch, which uh, impressed me because I just like it when knife companies do that. They send the, send your knife in a nice little pouch, a little carrying pouch like this. It's nice and cushy. But get into the knife. Some of you may know what I'm about to open. Most of you probably not. And this is, I believe, the first review on YouTube of this knife. It's the Anzo Flipper by Fox Knives of Italy. With titanium handles with the Anzo pattern. Black hardware, black liners, and back spacer. Black tip-down only pocket clip, which I'm not too thrilled about the tip-down only, but... I'm not going to let it bother me too much because I love the knife so much. The only real quarrel I have with this knife so far is that it's kind of off-center. Which is just my obsessive mind picking away at it, but um, I know a lot of you uh, out there feel the same way I do about center blades. and I tried centering it the best I could. I got it to tweak over to the side a bit, but I don't want to fuck with it anymore. But opens smooth as butter. I mean, this thing opens so smooth. You can't even tell that it's it's, it's opening. It just kind of glides out. Um, get your bronze washers in there. Um, this is the N690CO steel, which I believe is a, it's a, a cobalt steel. I haven't had any experience thus far with it yet until you know I just received this thing, so maybe I'll leave something in the comments later about it. But uh, Anzo stamp of design on here with that really cool the etching on these blades from Italy that I've gotten. I don't know if Lion Steel just uses the same people or uh, what, or if it's just an Italian thing in general. But it's got this two tone etching on there, it's kind of that satin white inside a black outline, and it's really cool. I mean, I don't like stuff stamped all over my blades, but if I'm gonna have it. You know, I appreciate like a quality, quality look there. But really liking this knife. If you're not a fan of heavier knives, you might not want to buy this knife. It's uh, weighing over uh, five ounces, or just about five ounces, maybe a bit more. Um, I like a heavy blade here and there. Ergonomics of this thing is unbelievable, and that's one of the things I like about the heavier handle in there. It kind of like sits right into your hand, and it feels like it, it buries itself in there. I know that sounds cheesy to y'all, but if you pick this thing up, you know what I mean. And of course, being as an Anzo pattern, it just it just fits right into your hand, really nice. I think Tough Thumbs was talking about his quarrels with Boker. And some of the shit product they've been putting out, and why, uh, you know, him questioning why Anzo uses Boker, and I feel the same way. I mean, I've gotten a couple knives from Boker, and there's always been issues that I had to tweak or fuck around with that, you know, you shouldn't have to for a knife. Any knife costing you over a hundred bucks, you shouldn't really have to fuck with, in my opinion. I mean, it should just come ready to go, nice solid lockup, like this knife. Um, you know, a little bit off-center, I could see that, perhaps. Um, but overall quality in this particular blade just seems extraordinary. I, mean, he, uh, I don't know when Anza went over. I think this is his first, his first work with Fox Knives, but, I mean, a very good choice in my opinion. I mean, for a production knife, really, really happy with this blade. Blade length is, I believe, uh, three and three quarters, or uh, I don't think I have it right here. Blade length is uh, three and a half inches, give or take. Um, 
closed length is four and three quarters. Uh, full length, overall length is uh, about eight and a quarter. Love that design, man. It looks like just like a hyped up, built up, overbuilt version of the whale. Like kind of like how the whale should have been built in the first place. It's got that really cool, strange blade shape. If you're not familiar with Yen Zanzo, if you're kind of new to knives, uh, really gotta check out some of his work. Some of his more uh, like some of his custom knives. He's a uh, custom knife maker and industrial designer, Danish guy. Uh, and he just has these off the wall, out of this world designs. As you can tell here, this thing just looks alien. And for something to look so alien like that and just have so much design, like textured in the handles, and for it at the same time feel that good in the hands, and that's true art. It's amazing. It's just uh, so much thinking goes into that kind of art. To have something that fits into the hand as an extension of the hand like that and feel so natural, but at the same time just look so insane. It's uh, really impressive. Anyways, this is a big thumbs up here for this knife. Um, I'd recommend buying this knife. When it hits the U.S., uh, probably going to sell out right away. Keep your eyes open for it. Ears peeled. Uh, you can go on Blade HQ. It's up there as a pre-order, but you can't pre-order it. It's up there as a coming soon. It doesn't have any pictures or price on there yet, but uh, I'd, uh, I'd keep an eye on this knife. Quality buy. Yeah, I'm Bob Rue 13. I hope you found this informative and uh, a little bit of knife porn never hurt anybody. Have a good day, y'all. I'm Bob Blue 13. I'm out.